It was one of the most controversial measures at the state capitol this year, and a growing number of communities are pushing back. Yeah, it's called the Red Flag Law, and it allows police to take guns away from people deemed a threat. But Commerce City is the first metro area city to challenge that law. Jamie Larry joins us in Commerce City tonight. And Jamie, this is a big issue statewide. There are many counties, around 36 we learned tonight, that have declared themselves Second Amendment sanctuary cities, refusing to enforce that red flag bill when it takes effect. Now, the woman we met tonight, she's testifying here. People are getting ready to testify as we speak. She's been fighting the red flag law since it was introduced, and she believes that many more cities around the metro area will soon consider also becoming Second, second Amendment sanctuaries. I am their first line of defense. Um, so to me, this, this is very personal. A lot of this stuff, could be, like it really hits home. Leslie Hollywood is a single mother. She would do anything to protect her three girls. The red flag bill, she fears, would put her right to protect them at risk. It's just way too risky that we're going to see this abused. She thinks about what it might mean for her ex-boyfriend. This law actually allows him to petition the court and ask them to take away my firearm over the phone. Something Leslie says could take as little as 24 hours to execute. I have the police officers at my door ready to come in and confiscate my guns all because my ex-boyfriend wants to see me disarmed to potentially harm me. So yeah, I take it very personally. She also doesn't believe it will do anything to address mental health. There are many people who do support the concept of a red flag law, but when you actually dig into what we passed here in Colorado, this is dangerous and it doesn't help anybody. Leslie plans to continue to fight the red flag bill. She thinks other areas around the metro won't be far behind. I think we're going to actually see it popping up a lot more. This law doesn't go into effect until January 1st of 2020. And what I think is going to start happening here is these, these city police departments are going to have to take a look at this law and determine how they're going to enforce it. Now, another group that just recently arrived here who we didn't get the opportunity to speak to, Moms Demand Action, and they're also getting ready to testify. People started testifying around 930, so it should be a fairly late night. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, did reach out to several council members early this afternoon to try and gauge how they were going to vote, and they declined to comment. We'll continue to follow the story. Live in Commerce City, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First.